Comic-Con 2022 e é a primeira vez que a Arctic está no evento. E para contar um pouco mais sobre isso, eu vou entrevistar o Raul Fleeman, que é Regional Sales Manager, gerente regional de vendas. A entrevista vai ser em inglês. Thank you so much for uh, the interview. So, why Futurecom? Why are you here? Thank you. Thank you to you. Uh, why we are here? Because uh, we consider that this is the biggest uh, show, trade show of telecommunication for the region of Latin America. And we are a young company trying to access to more and more customers and take very close contact to the market. That's why we are here. You said you're a very young company. Can you tell us a little bit more about the company? Yeah, sure. We are a company with a headquarter in Hong Kong, and we decided to create Arctic Latam to attend the Latin American market, including USA and Canada. And that's why we are uh, focused in this market. And at the same time, we are a young company because we have people with a lot of experience, but very few years that we have started. And we developed a great job in those years. And what are you showcasing at Futurecom? Well, um, our main focus is to get contact with the partners, with the companies that they are working every day in the fiber optic market because we develop this type of technology. We can supply products from the data center up to the end user and subscriber, all in the optic, optical network infrastructure. That's why we are focused on that. And how do you evaluate the current demand for your products? I mean, the market is growing a lot in data and traffic and etc. Companies are willing a lot to buy it. Well, uh, this is a, a real note that the pandemic, the pandemia was um, forcing to the companies to invest more and more in fiber optic networks and to deploy their network more and more uh, in a short time with more efficient. That's why we consider that this market is growing up every time. And now with these uh, conditions, we are also watching for a biggest grow up than the last two years with the pandemic. And what is the 5G impact for your fiber up with sales? Well, you know, 5G need the connection with fiber optics, so we are in this world. We create the cables, the connectors, the, all the accessories and all the products uh, to give the 5G the success that is going to get in the cities and in the world, because they need the infrastructure in fiber optic. And looking ahead, what kind of innovations can we expect from Arctic? Well, we are launching new and new products. In this case scenario, for example, the bullet types. And many times we are uh, offering new technologies to simplify the life of the people who work with fiber optic. And what kind of challenges do you face ahead? I mean, uh, kind of deployment infrastructure, uh, access, so what, what do you name? Well, uh, biggest challenge for us are delivery time, market pushing to go down with the prices, uh, even to keep the quality and the performance of the products, and also at the same time to develop new products for the market. And you said you're a very young company just launching in Latin America region. Any types or expectations for uh, the companies, not revenue, but uh, growth in the next years? Sure, for sure. Uh, our grow up uh, market uh, plan is for the next two years to grow more than 40% our sales and also to cover more and more countries and cities with our presence. Okay, thank you very much for this interview and good luck. Thank you so much to all of you and thank you for the organization and the people who came to us to visit our stand. You are very welcome. E acompanhe todas as notícias da Futurecon 2022 na nossa plataforma digital e fique por dentro de tudo que rolou na feira.